currently at this mall called Eurasia and it actually has three different buildings and I'm going to show you what it's like. It has a little bazaar but it's also a shopping mall. There's a lot of coffee places, eating places, you know, cafes. So let's go and take a look. The first floor is actually the bazaar, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is the oldest part of the mall and the bazaar is located on the ground floor. I came to this indoor bazaar today to find some Kazakh dairy products, which are cottage cheese, sour cream, there's other dairy products called kurt, rimshik and things like that and you can check that out in my latest video which I'm gonna link in the cards above. And let's try to negotiate the best price for an avocado, just like in any real bazaar they're really not that available in this country and they're usually on an expensive side. Let's go check out the meat section. This side of the mall is called Eurasia 1 and it opened back in 1998 just the year after the city became the capital of the country. And since there weren't any big shopping malls back then, Eurasia became the first one in the city. How's the pacha? Okay, I gotta hurry because you cannot pass by these aisles unnoticed. As you can see, all these separate booths are independent sellers and they can have the same products and so they're competing with each other over clients and clients can go back and forth and like see what prices are the best for them, which one has the fresh version of the product. And this is like a real bazaar but kind of like a mini version but also more on a nicer side. Let me show you one of the biggest uh, sweet companies. It's called Rahad. Here is all of the sweets. As the popularity of the mall grew and people's shopping habits changed, Eurasia 2 was opened in 2004, right next to the older building. And the newest part, Eurasia 3, opened in 2016. And the total area of this whole complex is 80,000 square meters. And there's now more than 1,000 different vendors. But it all started here with the bazaar in Eurasia 1. And even today, it's one of the most popular places for people to shop for groceries. At any bazaar you can negotiate prices and in some countries that's even a must or else the seller would be very upset. This mall is a bit mix of everything. It's kind of a premium bazaar but it doesn't really serve that high of a quality as you would see in other modern malls because we have like much nicer shopping malls and much more modern and advanced supermarkets where you can buy anything you want and you can never negotiate there. But this place ironically is very expensive. It's just back in the old days it was the only and the most popular place for shopping. I came here a lot as a kid. People would come here to buy anything from groceries to electric appliances to even fur coats. As you can see I keep trying everything at the bazaar and that's the best part about it because you can easily get full by snacking on all of those things. Okay, so we are done for this little bazaar. I got some Kazakh dishes. I'm gonna do a separate video tasting them. Let's see what else is in the mall. So we're going to the second floor now. I'm gonna just walk around for a little bit and then come back.
for some coffee and some croissants. stuff in all of these shops is usually from China or Turkey. There's some Korean makeup skincare. Back in the days when we didn't have all the Zars and H&Ms, we would come here to shop and this would be actually more expensive than going to a bazaar or something. And you would go through every single boutique to find something that fits you. And it was just terrible because you never know where you can find something nice. So these are kind of like my childhood memories and still exist, people still come here, people still shop here for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> So that's it for Eurasia 1, we're gonna go to the second one, which is a newer one, so let's check it out. Eurasia 2 started as construction materials market, but now you can find anything from clothing boutiques to home goods to even the biggest jewelry gallery in the city. Today this entire mall is the most popular one in the older part of the city, which locals call as the right bank of the city, and it's actually the most dense residential area, which brings a lot of customers to the mall. I guess the next milestone for this mall would be to bring in the biggest chain retailers like Zara and etc. But overall I think this is a nice mix of everything. You can find anything you're looking for here for a different budget but also it shows history and the way shopping habits evolve and in general the history of the city, the history of people in it and I think it has more value as a historical place in addition to it being a shopping center. So I think this mall would always be unique. Just for that reason, for anyone visiting Astana, I would recommend coming here, seeing the bazaar, seeing all these older parts, and then going to the newer part, and enjoying everything you would enjoy in most Western and developed countries. You'll find elements from the Soviet past, some traditional elements, but also the modern part of the city. So I think that's a nice place to explore all these different dimensions, and you'll find something that you'll like about this place. So you can tell this side is a bit newer and it's all the small businesses, can you imagine? And they are not as big as you know, H&M's or Zara's, but still a lot of people are making decent money and live off of that. Actually, let's go to the first floor. This is like a local canteen, a lot of the workers and sellers come eat in places like this and usually it has all the regular dishes like plov, manti, samsa but I'm gonna share that in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna share with you the recipes and on that note I'm gonna get some coffee and croissants because you know how tiring it is to walk around the shopping mall all day so I'm gonna go take a break I'll look around So I got some croissants and coffee from here. Just gonna sit down. Looks pretty good. This was 900 tenge. You know how when you go to Ikea, you stop by the cafe first? That's everyone's favorite thing to do is to come for shopping. But really, you want to go get something at the cafe. So I got the croissant and the coffee. Not the best coffee in my life, but this whole thing is like three bucks. This is Eurasia 3. Eurasia 3 is the most modern and advanced. It is very typical to all the different malls around the world, where in addition to shopping, there's an entertainment center for kids, there's a food court, there's a movie theater, bowling center, and an indoor ice skating rink. This is it for today. I just got out of from the other side actually, from the Eurasia 3. I'm going to show you in a second. 
I just showed you three parts of this whole mall. It had a little bazaar and it had some modern parts. I hope you liked it and if you did, please comment down below. I'm gonna go to another one which is a more authentic one. This is more like modernized so I'll show you another one and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye!